Hey and Happy New Year everybody! In today's video I want to talk about how I've started to make a little extra cash on the side using my GoPro. This method hasn't made me like ridiculous amounts of cash so that I can replace my job or anything but it's given me some extra cash on the side so that I can buy some extra gear for my videos or for my photography hobby. So what I've been doing for the past half a year or so is I've been selling the videos that I've taken with my GoPro as stock videos on a website called Blackbox. For those of you who don't know what a stock video is, is it's essentially when a filmmaker is building up their film or a commercial and they're looking for a certain type of footage which they don't have or they can't film themselves they will go online onto a stock agency to purchase that certain clip and that clip could be anything it might be like a small cooking scene or it might be underwater footage of sharks or whales depending on the project and as a stock video creator what you're doing is you're filming all sorts of shots that might be required in films and bigger projects and you're uploading them onto an agency site where they can be purchased. So if you own a GoPro or camera you probably have lots of footage lying around in your hard drive or your PC which might have some potential to be sold if you upload it to a stock agency website. There are a lot of different stock agency websites online where you can sell your footage with the famous ones being like Shutterstock, Adobe and Pons. However it's not easy as just uploading your videos onto these websites. The stock video market is very competitive, there's a lot of different creators uploading their footage to be sold. So what you need to do is you need to be able to title and tag your videos correctly so that they can be seen by potential buyers. And this process is called metadata curation. The metadata curation is a skill that needs to be learned and it takes a long time to get good at it. The great thing about Blackbox is that what you do is you upload your video onto the Blackbox website and you can assign your videos to professional metadata curators on Blackbox who will do the tagging and titling for you in exchange for a small percentage of the money if your video gets a sale on one of these websites. And the other great thing about Blackbox is that once you upload your video onto their website they will upload that video with all of the title and the tags which are curated it for you onto five of the biggest stock agency websites online. So it saves you so much time as you only have to upload your video once and it gets listed on five different websites. Whereas if you did that by yourself individually, it's going to take hours and hours to upload and title and tag all your videos. Even though Blackbox and your metadata curator are going to take small cuts of your profits, it's, your clips are going to be much more likely to sell if you do it through Blackbox rather than uploading them individually by yourself to each of these stock agencies. And the great thing about stock videos is that you still have full rights to your videos so you can use it in your own projects or YouTube videos and also have it potentially sell online at the same time. So if you want to know more about Blackbox in particular then I'm going to leave a link to their website below where you can find out more information on the process and the systems that they have in place rather than me spending more time explaining. And next I want to show you the clips that I personally have uploaded onto Blackbox and have made some sales from them. If you follow my channel you probably know that I film mostly underwater content and I've never really filmed just specifically to upload to Blackbox. I always film for a part of my YouTube video or just as my hobby because I like filming underwater and the majority of footage I have sold on Blackbox have been from underwater footage shot on my GoPro Hero 7, 8 and 9. And the clips that I'm showing you right now on the screen are some of the clips that have actually sold on Blackbox. What I do before uploading these clips is I try to stabilize them in DaVinci Resolve and also shorten them down into the best part of the clip, usually between 10 to 15 seconds long. These clips that I have, I'm showing you right now, have sold for anywhere between a couple dollars all the way up to, I think my biggest sales up to close to $60. But if you have um, longer footage in higher resolutions, which are more desired, they can sell for a couple hundred dollars, depending on what type of shot it is. I started uploading on Blackbox early last year, I think it was in February or March of 20, 2020 and I didn't get my first sale for the first couple of months. Currently I have about 600 clips online and I make a couple sales a month. Maybe on my best month I had about 8 or 9 sales that month but right now it's really not that big of an income source but hopefully this year I'm planning to get 2500 clips online by the end of this year. And hopefully with that many clips online, it might become a little extra source of income for me next year. And yeah, it really doesn't take that much time because all you're doing is you're shortening your clips into the best parts and uploading them to Blackbox. 
and you're pretty much leaving the rest to the metadata curators and Blackbox itself. So the amount of time it actually takes me to upload is very little and it's clips that I've been using for my YouTube videos or my Instagram. So it really takes no, not too much extra effort. So I think you should definitely give it a go if you are a content creator or like taking videos. And I think that's going to be it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I will be sure to upload similar videos explaining more about Blackbox in the near future.